All right, in this example, we're going to look at integrating um, the function 1 over x squared plus 9. So this looks uh, hopefully pretty familiar. So we've seen the derivative of arctangent. Um, and you know, recall the derivative of arctangent is 1 over x squared plus 1. So that tells us that the antiderivative of 1 over x squared plus 1, well, that's going to give us back our function arctangent of x well, plus c. So we almost have that function, you know, but instead of the uh, plus 1, we've got a plus 9, so uh, we have to do a little bit of algebra in this case. And the way I'm going to get started here is I'm actually going to, uh, so I kind of want to make uh, the positive 9 into a positive 1. Well, the only way we can really do that is to factor the 9 out. So we have to be a little careful. We would have to have x squared over 9. And then if we multiply that by uh, plus 1, uh, when we distribute, we'll get, well, our x squared plus 9 back. So that's kind of the first step. I'm going to just pull the 9 out front. So there's our 1 ninth. And then we would have 1 over x squared uh, over 9. And I'm going to rewrite that as well, because what I'm really going to do is a little substitution. So. I would like to have a single variable squared is what I would like to have. So I'm going to do a u substitution. So I want a single variable squared. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, well, what squared would give me x squared over 9? And I think x over 3, if we square that, that's going to give us our x squared over 9. And this is where we do our nice little u substitution. So I want to, again, just kind of get rid of... Uh, you know, this x over 3, I want it to be, again, just a single variable. So I'm going to let u equal x over 3, or equivalently, one-third x. Uh, our du will just be one-third dx. So kind of forgetting about the one-ninth, uh, you know, for a second. I'm thinking if we want to replace the dx, well, uh, here's our dx. We could multiply both sides by 3, and it says 3 du will be our dx. So in this case, after we do our u substitution, so there's our 1 ninth that was out front. We would have 1 over u squared plus 1. And again, our dx is going to be 3 du. So now we're pretty much, uh, we've done everything. We can pull the 3 out front. That would give us 3 over 9. And then we would have the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1 du. So 3 over 9, uh, that just gives us 1 third. The antiderivative of this function will now be arctangent of u uh, plus c. We'll just stick the plus c on the outside there. So one-third arctangent of u plus c. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just uh, replace our u with our substitution. And again, u is one-third x or x over 3. And now we have our solution. Okay, so kind of a nice little useful formula to certainly know. Um, if you have 1 over x squared plus uh, some number squared, kind of a shortcut for this is this actually we get 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus c. So this is actually going to be a nice little shortcut to remember. So it basically says, and, and in this case, right, uh, 9, we could write that as 3 squared. So we have x squared plus 3 squared. Well, that would give us, again, hey, 1 over 3, arctangent of x over 3. So kind of a nice little shortcut to remember. Eventually, you're going to see something called integration by partial fractions, uh, um, probably not too far in the future. And... Uh, this little formula shows up a lot uh, when you do uh, partial fractions. So definitely one worth kind of keeping in your pocket, uh, a useful one to remember.